Good morning, everybody. Happy Saturday morning makes, and welcome back to Greenwood Girl Cards here on YouTube and over on Instagram and Facebook. I'm so happy that everybody is taking some time maybe to craft this weekend, or maybe you're out in your gardens or just enjoying summertime, uh, spring and summertime weather, I guess, depending on where you live. <laughs> it's actually rainy and overcast here in Seattle today. It's actually cold. Um, so, uh, I actually have a little jacket on because I was chilly this morning. Um, anyway, uh, I appreciated everybody's feedback about the changes on Instagram. I am considering doing a Facebook group, um, for Saturday morning makes, uh, and I'm going to look into that a little bit more to find out what's involved with it. And, uh, but um, for now, on Instagram, if you want me to see your post and I haven't looked at it, you can tag at Greenwood Girl Cards. And it, um, that way it will feed into my um, Instagram post feed. And that way I can be sure to come and comment on your project. So I wanted to mention that. A lot of you already tag me anyway. Um, and the other thing is that if you leave a comment on my Saturday Morning Makes video, I always try very hard to look at your social media feed when I look at your comment. So if you leave me a comment on this video today, um, I will try to find your feed and you can even tell me where it is. You can put an I for Instagram, an F for Facebook, or um, a Y for YouTube. And I always do try to go and look to see what you've posted for Saturday make Saturday Morning Makes first. So those are just some suggestions on ways um, that uh, we can all help each other in the community to go look at your projects. Um, and again, I am going to look into a Facebook group, um, but I also wanted to toss out the idea. We could also just disband Saturday Morning Makes and everybody just look at everything. What I liked about what I like about the hashtag is it helps give a focus to the community and it allows us to, sh to look at each other's art. Um, so anyway, uh, feel free to give me more feedback today. Um, hashtag tag Greenwood Girl Cards on Instagram so that it goes into my feed. You just put at the at sand and then ampersand and then Greenwood Girl Cards, all one word, and then it'll go into my feed. Um, so I wanted to say that. And then I just wanted to say how many beautiful projects there were this past weekend. Um, Cotton Candy Cottage Crafts. She was making Christmas tags that got me all excited for Christmas. So go look at all the Christmas tags she made if you haven't already seen them. She's on Instagram and it's Cotton Candy Cottage Crafts. Uh, my friend Mindy, Mindy who's 82671 on Instagram. It's Mindy82671. Uh, she made the cutest crocheted chickens. And if you if you're um my sweet, sweet Miss Daisy, uh Anna White, who's on YouTube and Instagram and Facebook. Um, you might want to go take a look at Mindy's channel if you haven't seen it. She's on Instagram at Mindy82671. She cro crochets the cutest critters, you guys. She did some cute bees. Um, the chickens are absolutely adorable. I love them. She's done a pig, a hippo, just little critters, um, like little plushy uh, toys for kids. Just adorable. I love her feed. Um, and then, of course, my friend Joyce, who is the owner of Peddler's Pack, Joyce and Bernie in Oregon, um, they have a store on Etsy called Peddler's Pack, and it's Peddler's Pack Stamps, and I think on Etsy it's called Stamp Peddler. Um, but they, she, Joyce is amazing, first of all. If you, if you don't follow Joyce's feed on Instagram, she made a gorgeous apron in this beautiful green fabric. You'll love seeing it. And then she was just posting some 4th of July ideas with a really cute Uncle Sam stamp, some tea, tea time crafts where you can send tea bags in some happy mail. Um, I'm trying to remember what else. There was a really cute 4th of July one with a girl. So uh, Joyce always posts beautiful things, and she's so ta multi-talented person. <laughs> Plus, they, they make stamps. Bernie, her husband, does all of the stamp making. Um, and uh, just an incredible pair, the two of them. So be sure to stop by Joyce's Instagram feed if you haven't. And then uh, I was looking at Pauline's channel, Pauline's Handmade Cards on Instagram. Uh, she was doing collaged cards and tags. My friend Brigitta, who I believe is from the Netherlands, I'm not sure, but she had made some really cute birthday cards where she had the birthday number, like if the person was turning four, and then she had a really cute critter next to the number, and they're so adorable. 
Um, and then there were so many posts on YouTube, beautiful um, journals, and just lots of people making different things. I'm trying to remember. Uh, oh, I'm not, you guys, I just can't remember everything this morning, and I don't want to make this too long of a video. So I'm going to dive in uh, to what I'm going to share today. And I actually am hopefully going to post a couple videos this weekend because um, I have some design team stuff to, to share too. But I wanted to, to do this today um, on uh, some dies that I have wanted to play with for a long time. And uh, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and just start showing you what I used. I used this Joy Crafts strawberry die. And it's the Berry Sweet Strawberry. And I love this little strawberry. It has little hearts cut out of it. And then it has two different size leaves that you can use. And uh, I use this to, to fill uh, the bowl. So I'll show you what I did with that. And then this is a die that I got last year um, from Frantic Stamper. And you know, I love Frantic Stamper. They're a wonderful company. They do, they come out with their own die collection and stamps every, um, I think it's every month still. And, uh, and so you can always go and look to see what they're up to and what they're producing themselves. And then of course, she just has a fabulous store that carries like every company you can imagine. So if you're shopping for craft products, she's a wonderful company to go to. Right now, she has a 25% off sale. Um, she's taken a whole selection of six by six paper pads and she's marked them down 25% off. So if you're needing six by six paper pads, these are a lot of um, the paper pads that she just has so many left in stock. So she's doing that right now if you want to go take a look and it's franticstamper.com. This is a die that they produced in 2021. Um, I think I bought it last year or the year before, um, and I've had it in my stash of new things to use. And uh, so I really wanted to use it. And uh, this is what the die looks like. And uh, I'll show you what it looks like um, on my project in just a second. Um, does this have a number? Oh, yeah, the number's right there. So it's a Frantic Stamper die 11003. Okay. And it's called Kitchen Scale. So you could probably just type in Kitchen Scale also, and it'll come up. And then I use this stamp set. This is a stamp set that I spied. Um, this is by Echo Park. And I got this from scrapbook.com uh, when, uh, when I was going to start doing the recipe books for Diana Markham. And to be honest, I never ended up doing a recipe book. I've just been making cards, mainly just because my life has been a little bit crazy this past year. Um, and I just haven't had as much time to do creating as I wanted to. Um, but this is a fun little stamp set from Echo Park that I got. And it's all kitchen related. So like it says, um, uh, it, you have a made with love. You have together is my um, favorite place to be. You have a little chicken, a little um, egg beater, mechanical one. I have one of these for my grandmother. I just love it. It's like a an old aqua blue color. Um, you have the fondest memories are made when gathered around the table. Um, kitchen open daily for prompt service. Help yourself. <laughs> Farm to table country kitchen. And this is the one that I used on my project that I'm going to show you. It has this beautiful milk can of flowers. And when I was growing up, my mom had an old milk can on the porch and every year we filled it with geranium. So I really liked this particular stamp. It has home is the sweetest word there is. Isn't that the truth? A little set of silverware. Um, the kitchen brings our family together. I love that. Tiny little mason jar with the little, um, the kind that has the little uh, diamonds imprinted into it, which is one of my favorite kind of mason jars to own. I have a lot of these. Um, and then you have a cow, a pig, and a chicken stacked. You have home is where your herd is. <laughs> um, you have roll with it. And then when life gives you, um, let's see, when life gives you lemons, uh, make something sweet. And so that's a really cute stamp to use on your lemon projects or even on the back of a card that's lemon seat uh themed, you could use this as a tag on the back of your card. So when I saw this stamp set, I just really wanted to get it. Let me see if I can tell you anything more about it. It's it's the Made with Love stamp set. There's the item number. And does it say what? I don't know that it says what collection it's from. Um, but it's copyright 2020. So if you wanted to search for this, it's from 2020. All right. Echo Park Paper Company, but it doesn't say 
it doesn't say, oh, farmhouse kitchen. So it's the farmhouse kitchen collection. There we go. All right. So just in case anyone's wanting to, to find that. And then I did use my um, Spellbinders tall uh, frame dies. Both the regular and the scallop are in this particular um, envelope of mine. And uh, for those of you, Tina of, Tele um, Tina of Crafty Bean, I think had a set of these in her um, in her disbursements that she was doing. Uh, she was selling a bunch of stuff on her channel, and I think there was a set of these on there. But these are the uh, Spellbinders Long Classic Scalloped Rectangles and Long Classic Regular Rectangles, and they're from 2009. And uh, these are great for those mini slimline size cards. And then the other thing that I used is from um, My Creative Time. Uh, she has three sets of dies, a small, medium, and a large bowl die. Now, I have mine all stored in one uh, thing because it's just easier for me to have them stored that way. But they're separate die sets, so you can pick the size of die that you want to purchase, or you can get all three, whatever meets your needs. And the one that I used was the middle-sized one with the middle-sized scallop, okay? And I love these bowl dies, so I use those. And then I did use um, some portrait papers. This is the portrait paper set. It's four colors or three colors. It's two beige, a pink, and a blue. Um, and it's it's a piece of eight and a half by 11 cut in four. You end up with four card fronts of these beautiful rose papers. So this is from a Rala Miha shop on Etsy. And you've seen me use those many, many times. And then the other thing that I pulled out to use is some of my beloved October afternoon papers. These are some of my favorite papers, and I think they might even be available digitally, maybe at AC Digitals or somewhere. I don't know. Someone had these somewhere recently. Maybe someone was reselling these or something. I don't know. But anyway, if you ever find these digitally, um, I would be interested. So if anybody knows if they are being sold digitally, I would love to know. Um, because I adore October Afternoon. It's some of my favorite papers. And this is the Farmhouse 8x8 paper pad. And I pulled this out, and specifically the paper that I used um, is this pink polka dot. With the, the polka dots are a gray color, almost black, but a dark gray. And then it's this beautiful light pink color. So um, I love this farmhouse paper pad. And um, it's just a great one to use when you're doing, uh, you know, different kitchen projects. So it's got these cool chairs in here. Um, it just has really neat patterns and uh, just really, really special paper. So um, I pulled this out and uh, I, I think I'm gonna, you know, it's hard for me to use stuff that I, you know how we hoard sometimes things that we really love, but I am trying really hard to just use what I have versus purchasing new. So um, I did use that paper pad and let me show you the project uh, that I made with it. And uh, I do have other things to show you, but I'm going to do so in a separate video. So this is the card that I created, and you can see this beautiful die from Frantic Stamper that makes this wonderful <laughs> old-style kitchen scale. And uh, I just love this. And um, I cut it out of some glitter cardstock that I had that I had gotten at Hobby Lobby, just some old, um, it was a pack of like, popcorn things or something that were made with glitter cardstock. I got them for like a quarter. And so I used one of those to cut this out. And then I did take some vintage photo distress ink and I just kind of distressed the silver so that it looks older. And I don't know if you can tell on camera. Um, I used some aqua mist cardstock from paper tray ink to do the center dial. And then you can see there's a metal dial behind here and I cut a second dial. And then I used a flower from this, um, this is a Stampin' Up! set. It's called Quiet Meadow. And uh, if you need a Stampin' Up! De demonstrator, my friend Jana of Jana Stamps here on YouTube is a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And uh, she just sent me the annual catalog um, recently. And uh, I was so appreciative of her to send it to me because what's so nice about having the catalog is you can get a lot of really neat card ideas aside from shopping for all of the beautiful stamps in here. And I'll show you the one thing I've fallen in love with is I love this pansy set. So there's a beautiful pansy stamp set. It also has a, a matching die set that you can make pansies with. So I have that on my wish list and uh, I'm still looking through the catalog. But Jana, thank you for sending that to me. And if anyone's wanting to order Stampin' Up! products, Jana is wonderful. 
Um, so anyway, I used one of the little flowers in this Quiet Meadows because I wanted to just have something stamped on the dial. And I was looking for some little like weight or measurement stamps that I could also put on here, but I just couldn't find anything in my stash yet that would fit that. But I did pull out uh, the Echo Park set that I showed you, and I stamped this Farm to Table Country Kitchen on the front of the bowl. So again, this is the medium bowl from My Creative Time. I used the portrait papers from Arala Mihal Shop to do this little scallop edge on the bowl, and then the bowl itself I cut out from an, uh, a turquoise gingham. Um, and this is a digital paper that I had. Here's that October afternoon pink polka dot in the background. And then this is more of that portrait paper from Arala Miha Shop. And then the little strawberries are cut with a paper from Shabby Art Boutique. I was a member of her club for a long, uh, for a while, I think for about, I don't know, six or eight months once. And I, I have some collections. And uh, this is a strawberry paper that I got from one of her summertime collections that is on my computer. And whenever I want to do strawberries, I print out this this cute strawberry paper. So that is what I used. It's a digital paper from Shabby Art Boutique. And uh, if you go to Etsy and look up Shabby Art Boutique, she does have a store on Etsy. And then she also restarted her club recently. And there's a lot of people that are members of the club. And uh, you can go to her website. She has a blog, I think, where she shares everything related to that and if you wanna join. So that is how I made the cute little strawberries. And then I just, of course, filled the bowl with strawberries. And uh, I just thought this would be such a cute card to create. And this is a mini slimline size card. That's the size card that it is. And I did use a little strip of the strawberry paper just to divide the, the card into three and make it look like the scale is kind of sitting on the counter and you're measuring out the weight of the berries or something using the scale. So um, I just think this turned out so, so cute. Inside, I used a little piece of a pink gingham um, buffalo check that I had. This is also a digital paper. And then more of that portrait paper from Arala Miha Shop. And then on the back, I used, again, that beautiful polka dot. And then I stamped from the Echo Park stamp set, this little Made With Love. And I used um, just one of the little... Uh, scalloped um, dies in a smaller size to make this. So I just think this turned out so, so cute. Um, and I love how this bowl of berries looks, especially because right now this week I am picking strawberries like crazy from my garden and my first blueberry bush has ripened and I'm picking blueberries. And you know that I love growing food, edibles, and uh, I love berry season. And it's so fun towards the end of June when you get to start picking everything and eating it and enjoying all the fresh berries. And of course, there's fresh berries in the store and it's a just one of my favorite times of the year. So this is my Saturday morning make. I have lots more to share with you guys, but I'm going to do it in a separate video, hopefully later this weekend. Um, but I thought I would just come on and share this fun card with you for my Saturday morning makes. And I hope that you guys um, are all have a wonderful weekend. And I thank you for taking a look at what I had to share. And I'm looking forward to coming out and seeing what everybody is posting. So hello to everybody and uh, my very best wishes that everybody has a lovely weekend um, and can find some downtime and take some time to do something that makes your soul fill with joy, whether that's taking a walk or doing some crafting or playing in your garden. Um, I really should film my rose garden because all the roses open this week and it is so heavenly out in my garden right now. The fragrance and the beauty of the flowers. Um, if you follow Anna White, she has shared a bunch of garden videos and has some beautiful dahlias and different flowers growing. And uh, I just love this time of year and seeing everything that everybody is sharing. Um, other people have posted pictures of their roses, too. I think uh, Ginger did. I'm trying to remember who else did. Uh, my friend Deb, I think. And uh, I think Sylvia might have posted some, too. Anyway, um, everybody take good care. Uh, my heart and prayers are with all of you that are going through difficult things. Blessings and hugs. Bye now.